hello you guys and welcome back to more. Let's look at, play, adventure in, talk about, whatever about, story of seasons, a wonderful life. So last time we began our adventure, we talked about the basics of starting up your farm and how all of these things are kind of important. Uh, time to go to sleep. Day two. And as we progress, um, I will be skipping over or fast forwarding through a lot of the days because um, it starts to get pretty repetitive after a while. Um, but anyway, today we're going to be talking about animals in a little bit more of uh, detail. Also, I just learned something new about fruit trees. So whenever we buy more fruit trees, I'll get into that when we get into that. But for right now, um, we're going to keep it on the down low. And we're just going to do our daily chores while we talk about animals and animal funs and stuff like that. So we kind of briefly talked about in the last episode that if you want to order an animal, it's very, very simple. Um, the only way to order an animal in this game or get any kind of animal that you might need is from this little book right here. And you go to order animal, and here are all of your animals! So these are all the animals. You get the male and female of both versions of whatever animal you want. So we get normal cows, which is good for normal milk. And the cow that you start out with is a normal cow. Then you can also buy brown cows. Brown cows are better for butter, so do not get a brown cow until you have a processing room, which will probably be a while. Then we have marble cows, which are good for cheese. And once again, let's not get them until we have a, um, <coughs> sorry, until we have a uh, processing machine. I'm dying. Okay. Then we have the star cows. Oh, wow. Wow. <coughs> I keep choking. Sorry. I got too excited talking about cows. Then we got the star cows, um, which make high quality milk. And honestly, my strategy is always to get, this is the next cow in line that I usually get. But the sheep are very important. So the sheep um, grow wool and the wool can sell for up to 3,000 uh, gold each. So I highly recommend that the next animal that you get is a sheep and that's actually the animal that we're gonna get when we have the money for it. And then of course you can buy more chickens. Um, so when you order an animal, it will take uh, about a day to arrive uh, to your farm. And no matter where you are, you'll be called back to the farm. So if you're not around, don't worry. You're not going to miss out your chance to uh, grab your animal. Because uh, Tataka, Totoka, Taka, whatever his name is, will give you um, a notice. And he will force you back to the farm. Thank you, me cow. Cannot wait to get a brush and brush my little cow. Anyway, um, after you're called back to your farm... You will be given, um, oops, oh no, that's fine. You'll be given, um, a choice to pick your name for your animal, as well as, okay, I just wanted to make sure that we were not overriding my other say. <laughs> that would have been kind of, yeah, pick its name and choose where its little tro will go. Um, I saved because I'd like to make a herbal soup, and I think this is how you make it. I'm not confident in that. See? I did it! I learned the recipe for herbal soup. Okay. We're gonna give this to uh, people, but that's, that's, that's what that is. So, um, also, I do have to say, I have decided, I know I said I was gonna let you guys vote, but... When I was playing on my private file, uh, Muffy kind of stole my heart. So, we're gonna go for Muffy. I, I mean, Molly. I'm probably gonna call her Muffy, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, so in this game, you can also get ducks. So birds, um, chickens aren't the only things you can get. And if you might've noticed from the book, you're like, well, I mean, I didn't see ducks available. Um, that's because ducks do require a little bit of a different kind of way to go about getting them. 
Warmer is getting warmer out. So let's visit the Harvest Sprites so we could get our daily recipe, which I recommend you do. Um, pickles! So, um, ducks come from a pond that you can buy, and the pond is about 10,000 gold. And, uh, Ta what's his name? Takakura, I think. Takakura will build it on your farm within the fenced area, so, um, that little area where our cow is in right now, that's where the pond will go. In fact, I think it'll go right there by that rock, if I remember correctly. Um, and so as long as you have two clear spots in your coop, some ducks will appear, and... There is some confusion on that. Um, I don't think the ducks appear until, um, unfortunately, until like your second year. So if you get a pond and you're confused as to why ducks aren't appearing in your first year, um, you might want to wait till second year after you're married. I mean, if you have the money, go for it and buy it now, but I'm just saying. Just here to chat. Hi there and welcome. Yeah, you don't say anything. Oh. Um, we're kind of in a current state right now where we don't have a lot of things to gift people yet. Uh, besides milk, but I want to... for the Until we can get a sheep, I want to sell as much milk as we possibly can. So that way, um, I don't miss out on the, uh, the sheep money making. Also, we really need to get a brush and a fishing rod. That's very important as well. Uh, as soon as we get that fishing rod, you can uh, gift fish to a lot of people, actually. So, it'd be fine. Okay. So, your chicken coop, um, going back to the birds, you can have up to eight chimkins. And um, that will probably include your duckies in that. So, do keep in mind with that to keep two free spaces open for your duckies. Um, and, uh, birds in this, in the, in your coop will require a different food. They don't take fodder. Uh, they take a bird seed, which can be purchased also from the little book thingy. Um, and they're about, um, I think a hundred gold each, which is actually not too bad because, um, you guys might not know it, but chimkins are the best in terms of feed because you can just very- don't do it, don't do it, oh. There we go. Um, all you have to do is get one bag of bird feed and place it down in the middle of the tro and, um, or tro- I don't know. Um, and that pretty much takes care of of that. Like, it will stay like that for a while. It actually takes a lot of, um, bird seed stuff. Wait, I have to concentrate. So I don't lose to this jerk. Using my ultimate strategy. I won. <laughs> so, um, make sure you let the bird feed run out before you fully get um, another bag or put another bag in there. Like, make sure it's completely empty because then you're just wasting it at that point. Um, and yeah. Um, so as soon as your burbs are fully grown, a male and female um, Timkin is good to have because they will start to lay eggs. The females will always lay eggs no matter what even if you have a male or not. Um, but the thing that is important to remember is, is that if you do have a male, um, they will actually breed um, fertilized eggs, or they'll have fertilized eggs. So um, the fertilized eggs are kind of a pinkish color and definitely more worth your time um, because not only do they make more money than regular eggs, but also you can place it in the incubator, and once you place it in the incubator, they will, um, make, a, it'll, a few days will go by, and then it'll make another little baby chimkin, so then you don't have to buy chimkins. So that's really good to remember. 
Um, so there's also some confusion I've seen some people have with eggs and chickens. Um, and I'll get to that here in a second. Let's look, take a look at this cutscene. Well, hey, if it ain't Emmy Demi. Oh, hi. Been, set, been settling, been settling in, okay? Glad to hear it. But you've never worked on a farm before, right? That's gotta be tough. If you ever find yourself in trouble, I'd be happy to give a hand. Oh, let me go get my brother Matt to pitch in too. I've been teaching him the ins and outs of agriculture, so I hope you'll let us help you out. Get it? <laughs> uh huh. So Matthew is actually the one that I was I'm pursuing in my private game. Hey Matt, come here. And he is a rip. What? I'm busy. It can wait. Just come here. Wow. Here's the deal, little bro. If Emmy Demi is ever in a bind, you give her your full support. All right? What? Why? Because the valley is all hop, hop in place with Emmy Demi around. And if she ended up packing her bags and leaving because she couldn't hack it, I'd be crying shame. Hopping? Yes. I've seen more people wandering around before. Maybe. Ugh, there you go with your prickly pear act again. Yeah, he's a bit of a tsundere. Whoa. Wait just a gosh darn second. There's something I forgot to take care of. I'm afraid it'll be real urgent, so I gotta make a fruit tree and leave. Huh? Sorry to cut run, Emmy Demi. If you'll excuse me. I'm counting on you, Matt. What? Hey, wait! Sorry about Vesta. She's not exactly the best listener. Well, I'm glad it doesn't bother you. Uh, so yeah. A anyway, what's up? Are you having trouble with your crops? Need any help? Oh, uh, good. Good. Well, um, I've got work to do, so bye. He's a little bit shy. He's a little bit antisocial. It's okay. We love him anyway. And you know what? Is he still standing there? I was gonna give him the soup. There he is. He's over there. Let's give him the soup. So Matthew likes milk and herbal soup the best. We're just gonna give that to him. Or we're not going to give it to him because he's in a sour mood. So never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Matthew. Anyway, I've seen some people confused about the eggs and how sometimes they say people have said that they don't get any eggs from the Timkins and you probably did get eggs and you didn't even realize it. Um, so what I mean by that is, um, wow, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Is that, um, if you keep the eggs, or you keep the chickens inside, it'll be a lot more easy to notice when they have laid an egg. But, if you let them outside and graze, which you should be doing, they'll probably lay an egg outside if they haven't laid an egg in the morning. So you just gotta make sure you're paying attention to your chickens' placements, where they are, and like... Like, just try to click around and see if you can hit the A button or the X button to see if you can like pick up an egg that you might not even be seeing because it could be in the grass. Just just something to keep um, notice of. And if they may not have laid an egg and you'll just have to check back later. Um, always be remembered that not everything will happen the same exact way every single time. So that is good to make sure that you're remembering that. So, um, going back to cows here for a second, um, pregnant animals cannot be milked, so the cows are, and things cannot be milked, um, but the following pregnancy, so after they have given birth and stuff, they'll yield a lot more milk, and better milk for some time, which is the cow that we have, that's what we've been blessed with. Um, 
meanwhile, what I'm going to be focusing on is sheep because they do give a lot of money for their wool and they're pretty easy to upkeep and make happy to get the wool quality up even more. You can also get goats in this game, which will produce uh, goat milk. Um, and we're not going to get into that right now because that's kind of like way super far into the future. But for right now, just know that if you want to, goats are something that's available. Farm? Anyway, I'm just going to dig a bunch and see what we can find. I think I said it last video, but do remember that it is very important to dig in the dig site because not only will you find um, special stuff in here once a year, I believe, but also this is a good way to make very quick money when Van comes into town. And also this is a good way to give gifts to certain people, like the coins are a good gift for like rock and... Oh, we found the tablet with the glyphs ready. So that's great. Day two. Uh, that's a random chance, um, and I, I'm pretty sure only one appears every year. I could be wrong about that, and it could be every season, but I'm pretty sure it's every year. So now that we've found that, um, we don't have to focus on that as much, but ne but it is still good to come here to get uh, money and gift items stuff, at least until we can get the fishing rod. There's also a misconception with the cows, and I think it came from the original game. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, so you don't, don't quote me on this, but I've heard some people talking about how eventually cows will stop producing milk. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was in the original game, so like you'd have to get them pregnant for them to produce milk. That is not the case in this game, at least from what I can tell, because I'm pretty much at the end of my, um first year and my cow is still producing plenty of milk uh during the summer your cow will produce less milk but that's about the difference that i'm aware of in terms of like cow producings and things all right i'm gonna stop here around four o'clock um you can keep going until i think it's about five that he stops you my word, what's this? Something appears to be inscribed on it. Why, this would be a key to Forgotten Valley's ancient civilization. May I take it off your hand? I'm also struggling to not say forget me not Valley. <laughs> That's hard. There appears to be nothing else of archaeological value here, so please feel free to keep the rest of your findings. That's all for today. Hope we can count on your continued assistance. Yes, you can. Hey, Emmy Demi, Takakura left a note in the living room if you want to take a look. Hey, okay, what did he say, Takakura? I brought you a new animal. Oh, okay, here we go. So see, this is an example of him pulling us back here. So we got our first Chamkin. And um, we're gonna do what I did before and Google cute food names. Uh, let's see. Plum. Poppy. Poppy's cute. Poppy. Hope we didn't name our cow Poppy. <laughs> I don't remember what we named our cow. Okay, we actually named our cow Maple. That's a cute name, too. We gotta go past Emmy. Um, so let's take a look and see. We need our, our bird food as well. Uh, we found the Lost Remnant. Discovered our first stone tablet. And soft feathers obtained one bird. And there's our bird feed. Okay. So yeah, anytime that you um, get something in or you order something, it will come in here in this little bin here. Hi. Hey kid, how's it going? Cows don't give milk all the time, you know. They're about to give birth, you can't milk them. After they give birth though, they'll give you more than milk than usual for a while. Keep that in mind as you raise your cows. Thanks. So I'm gonna keep these in my storage for now. Uh, oh, we actually have flowers. I didn't even notice that. We can give these a gift. Um. Yeah, let's put this in here. These in here. Damn, I didn't know we had flowers. I'll go around and give flowers to give, uh, give Ben. Let's go ahead and... I know it's almost 4 o'clock, but we'll go ahead and let our chicken run around for a little while. Here we go. Here. 
Knuckle her. Make sure you give me lots of eggies. And we'll go ahead and place the bird, bird feed now. You see how it gives a lot of feed? You'll notice when that is empty. So you don't have to replace that until it's empty again. I mean, you can do whatever you want. That's your game, not mine. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Vesta's farm. Oh, or, or not, let's look at a cutscene. <gasps> it's our darling. I'm gonna marry her so hard. So it's very important to get married in this game. And I will explain why. I think I explained it in the in the first part, but I'll talk again about it. Hello there, Emmy Demi. Since you're here, do you wanna have time for or do you have time for a quick chat? I just adore this view. It always helps me settle down. The rushing water, the gentle breeze. You just don't get this in the city. That's where I used to live, you know? But some things went sour and I ended up moving to Forgotten Valley. Every once in a while when I'm stirring, stirring out at the river, I think back on my old heartache. <laughs> just kidding. The clean air in the valley has done wonders for my skin, so I like to make sure I spend time outside every day. <laughs> Here, see for yourself. Yes, you're very pretty. Thank you, Emmy Demi. You're such a sweetheart. We really should get to know each other better. I feel like you and I are on the same wavelength. Until next time, then. Absolutely, Muffy. Very Molly. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's important to get married in this game. Make sure you're giving gifts to everybody because making friends in general is super important, especially, especially certain characters that we'll get into. Um, but yeah, it's hey. it's super important uh, to do that because by the end of year one, if you're not finding somebody that you want to get married to, there is a huge possibility that you will end up um, having to be forced to marry either Cecilia or Rock. And I'm pretty sure if you if you further like ignore the request like if you if you're like oh no i don't want to marry either one of those people then um i'm pretty sure you'll just get a game over so i mean cecilia is a pretty nice girl she's a very easy person to to marry though um rock too he's just kind of i'm not a fan of rock i'm not a rock fan i'd rather deal with matthew's crap than uh <laughs> Then, um, rock. Okay, so it's also super, super important to befriend this old lady. Like, very important. Like, you have to do it before the end of the year. Please. Please just do it. Don't even ask questions. Just do it. How's about taking a walk down the beach, Nina? Oh, yes, that sounds splendid, dear. Shall we? Ah, They're so cute. Hi, Nami. What? Oh, it's you. Huh? What am I up to? Not much, just deciding where to go next. Hmm. All right, I've decided. I'm gonna take a stroll over to the villa. Catch you later. Nami's very interesting. I feel like Nami is me. <laughs> like, I I like people and I like to people watch, but then I get scared. Here's Griffin. Gavin. I just wanna chat. Here in Forgotten Valley, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum, living how they please. I hope you find life here worthwhile too. Is Molly here? Where's Molly? I'd like to give Molly a flower. Okay, it's also very important to get to to befriend Daryl. So we're gonna give him these coins. Until we can get a fishing rod because he also really likes fish and that's a much easier way to befriend him. 
All right, so we can give him two gifts a day. What do you want? Can't you tell I'm postulating? I don't need your sunny disposition chasing away my brainstorm. Shoot! Shut up. He has the same dialogue. That's something about this game that I can I can see why people um, are not the biggest fan of this uh, iteration of Story of Seasons because it is kind of repetitive, um, and the dialogue repeats a lot. It gets very redundant. I, I beg your pardon. Uh, hello there. You wouldn't happen to remember me from the other day, would you? Can you, um, can you see that building up there on the hill? A villa, I mean. I live there with my Aunt Romania. Romana. Romana? And our butler, Sebastian. I moved to the valley when I was very young, so I've not been able to sit and chat with many people my own age. But then I heard you had moved in, and I'd hoped the two of us would get along. In any case, I do hope to have another opportunity to chat sometime. Until then. Lumina's pretty cute, too. Um, my problem with Lumina, though... I don't want to ruin anybody's parade here if you're a Lumina uh, fan. But, um... In the original, she was, a, she was pushing the age limit. And I think they changed that for this one. Um... But I just don't know. I don't know. I can't sit with that fact. I'm so glad it's finally warming up. I feel alive. You're beautiful. You're beautiful and I love you. We're gonna marry you so hard. So yeah, that's the thing. Let's go to the villa and see. Oh look, she's coming. Let's give her a little flower. Ah, I me mean, Demi, good day. Simply love that. Then take it. It's actually kind of sad because it's like she doesn't get to talk to anybody. This is the ideal season to spend time outdoors, is it not? And it makes me want to hug her because she's probably very lonely. Oh, is she sitting down? Oh no. Where is the old woman? Sebastian. Greetings, madam. It's good to see you. I find this the perfect place to set one's mind at ease, though perhaps I'm biased. So, he likes... Oh, okay. He likes a fish. So it's good to give him fish when you can. Um, I don't know where she is, the old woman. She's outside. Oh, there she is. Hiding from me somehow. Yeah, take this. It's a pretty good idea to, to uh, befriend everybody in the village. Because then you get gifts. Pretty much you can get away with giving almost everybody flowers. Like, watch. Tay likes flowers, too. Yep, take the flower. Ba, 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 ba. The flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Days like this put a spring in my step. Heh. <laughs> now she's kind of hard to deal with gift-wise because she likes crops. Don't have any crops right now. So... Uh, let's give Rock this other coin. Might as well, I guess. Yo. Yo, the night is young, bud, but let's keep the party rolling. Yo. That looks pretty sweet, is it for me? Sure. <laughs> Take it, I guess. Yo. Maybe he's just a hopeless romantic. Maybe I'm a hater. I don't know, but I don't like him. <laughs> uh, how's our cow doing? So if you want to check if you can milk your cow, you can go to the menu and go to barn. And the little uh, milk icon here at the bottom. Do right next to the health bar. Oh, no, you don't because I'm blocking it. Get, get out of the way. That'll be lit up. Um, if you can, and if you can't, it'll be grayed out, so we can actually milk her, so we're gonna go ahead and get some more milk. Get some milks. 
And we're gonna water our plants again. Check on that chimkin and see if the chimkin has given us any uh, eggies. Probably not because it's day one. But you never know. It doesn't hurt to check. So yeah, I actually learned something about the way you can plant fruit trees. You can actually, um... You can actually plant them in a certain way where you can get more fruit trees than what the game says that you can. But you know, it is what it is. Where's the pupper? Here's the puppers. Let's let's train the pupper. And I'm gonna take a look at our energy and stuff. Everything looks okay right now. Uh, Cecilia still needs egg. And our friendship bars. Everybody's it's day two, Emmy. Day two. I'm like, why doesn't anybody love me? So if you want to, you can actually make these milky soups and sell these instead of selling regular milk because they sell for about 150. Um, I kind of don't do that. I'm gonna drink it actually and make people mad. Uh, I don't do that because I don't know. I just, uh, I feel that the milk is fine until you can get the sheep. There's like no need to do it. It's like, it's like just a few coins if we're being for being honest, it's it's just a few coins extra that you get, so it's not to me that big of a deal when we're talking about in the big scheme of money, but maybe I'm wrong. Because I can be. Uh, a note from Takakura. I hope you're getting used to things. Check my notes if you have any questions. Okay. Well, thanks. Mostly sunny. Oh, what's the calendar say? Okay, so Van's coming today, so today's a very important day. I also realized that I left my animals out overnight, and, um... I don't know if that made them mad or not. <laughs> so sorry, animals. But here's an egg. We can give that to Cecilia. And while we're over there, we're also I'm also gonna get more um, fertilizer so we can get some more grass up in this house. Right? Watered everything. Well, hopefully my animals aren't too mad at me. That's okay doing that now though, because like our friendship with them isn't really that high anyway, and their health is just kind of okay. So I feel like it's that's not that's not too big of a problem. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna keep one milk actually to give as a gift. And let's make another mugwort soup or sorry, herbal soup. These are mugworts in the original game, and I just keep forgetting. One thing that I definitely am not doing enough of in my private playthrough is cooking. Um, I don't know why, but I forget that you can cook, like, every five seconds. Oh. Yet. So, that's a problem. Alright, I'm gonna go to the tree, get our daily recipe. Uh, oh, are you gonna explore the valley? If you wanna know that kinda... What the hell? Why are you giving me this now? Why, why are they giving me this information now? It's day three. It's day three. Um, I think I've also mentioned this before, but this guy is going to start begging for money. Um, so he can go visit some kind of place. Uh, you want to give him money every time you see him. That's important. Give him 100g every time you see him. Because I said so. Let's eat our nasty daily mushroom. 
Uh, we got the Scarlet Salad. Woohoo. I don't know if the recipes are the same or if they're random, like every playthrough. I don't know if you get, like, scripted ones. Like, oh, you have to get this one. Hello, oh, Van. Good day, I'm but a humble traveling salesman who wanders the world. I offer others the chance to own a number of rare and unique items. My wares will be available on purchase on the 3rd and 8th of every... Good morning, Emmy Demi. Every morning I open my arms to the sky and receive the sun's boundless energy. Wow. That sounds awesome. So you can't go digging on the days that Van's here. Good morning, it's a great day for digging, don't you think? Spring puts me in a good mood. There's just something about all the blooming flowers that cheers me up. Yeah, Flora and Carter will go on a little bit of a break during the time that Van is here. So, you'll notice that you probably cannot, um, do any digging. Also, we need to go back to my shelves so I can, um, get all the stuff that I wanted to sell to Van. Um, I believe I want to actually want to keep as many of these flowers as possible. Unless I absolutely have to sell it. Which, well, I don't think we will, but we'll find out, I guess. And all the flowers. All right. Let's visit the the store. Here's some herbal soup. Oh, he's not gonna take it. He just freaking crossed his arms. Cecilia will always take my flowers. You're an asshole. It's yours. All right, also, here's your egg. Wait, what did she say? Wait, uh, wait, hold on. Thank you. Uh, doesn't look like we have what I asked for. Oh, she wants a tomato. Dumbass. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, I know it's not that many, but I'm gonna wait until we buy everything we need. Take it, bitch. We get rewarded eggs. I thought she wanted an egg. Idiot. Hey there, Emmy Demi. You know my name already, yeah? Ah, right on. I'm Gustafa. Takakura, take you around for introductions your first day here? We didn't have much of a chance to chat that day, so I was hoping we could change that. Ah, uh, don't worry about skipping over me. As long as we get to know each other in the end, it's all good. Feel free to stop by my place whenever. I've got a thing for music, so maybe we'll sing some songs together. That'd be fun. Well, the wind's calling, so I'm off. Good luck on the farm. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Here. Hey. Take this flower boy. Okay, so this is also interesting to note. So anytime you see an animal around some body of water, that's usually meaning that there's good luck here. So this turtle uh, being by this pond usually means that if you were to fish in this pond right now, that you'd have a better chance at getting some better fish. Dr. Badach at your service. Nice to meet you. Hello? How are you feeling? Don't overdo it out there. This guy scares me. Good day to you, Forgotten Valley. I'm open for business. Perfect. Yes, come preserve my wares at your leisure. I am certain I have what you need. You absolutely do, and I'm coming for you. Oh my god, there's Mo Molly. Mm -hmm. I almost said, here you go. Mm -hmm. Take him. Molly. 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 
I'm probably just gonna call her Muffy. I'm sorry, I can't not resist. All right, Van, let's see what you got going on here. All right, so first we're gonna sell. Um, I'm gonna sell all of these. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell one of these for right now because I think Nami likes these, so I'd like to give her one. Oh, and the, the little egg. Might as well. That doesn't sound right. Wait a minute. That, 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 that didn't sound right. Really? That's all I get? That's all I get? Whatever. Let's do it. Alright, let's buy something. So, oh man. Okay, let's get the fishing rod. And we're gonna get the brush and we're gonna be broke. Ah, my money. So, um, you can also buy these potions and stuff. Um, I believe Matthew actually likes the energy one. But so you can do Z's if you would like, and there's also an outfit. Um, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here for it. Um, I don't really want to attach gender norms to outfits, but I really want a cute, frilly, pink something. Not the best time for a chat, but what do you want, I guess? Well, that's awesome. Here, Nami, take it. Not like I was asking to have it, but sure. This is the only thing I've found that she'll take. Everyone's in such a good mood when spring rolls around, but I don't get it. What's there to be excited about? Plenty, Nami. Alright, let's try out our new fishing rod right here by Gavin, because we're going to give him a fish. So fishing is pretty simple. You just literally wait until the bobber goes underneath the water completely. Um, and it's not like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley where you have to hit it immediately. The game actually gives you some time. So if you don't hit it right away, you don't need to panic. Here we go. We got a little Wasaki. Let's give him that. How's life treating you? Now that, my friend, is a favorite of mine. Take it. Um, and I think, actually, Carter likes milk. So let's give him a, a milk. Right here. I haven't, in my personal file, haven't actually made it an effort to make friends with him, so... Here you go, milk. Moo. Alright, so now I'm just gonna do some fishing. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna catch some fish. So that way we can give him the gifts. Whoa, is Molly, Muffy and, uh, Molly and, uh, what's her name talking back there? I have never seen them talk to each other before. That's awesome. What the heck? I wonder if I had go gone over there if they would have like... If I could have heard their conversation. I've not seen NPCs talk to each other before. That's really cool. Alright, got, we got a large wasaki. Talk to Matthew right here. Oh, it's gotta be the best season out of the year. It's finally getting warmer. He might be going to the beach to beg for some money. I don't like to use the word beg, but that's the only thing that comes to my mind. Let's also give Nina a flower. Huh? And I'm gonna go ahead and give Gary a fish, because he likes fish. Okay, so what the plan is with this game is basically... Now that we've gotten a lot of the beginning stuff out of the way, it's going to become incredibly repetitive. So you're probably only going to see, you're going to see like days go by. Like I probably won't record the next couple days unless something kind of awesome happens because yeah, like if we get like a, like a heart event or something. Yeah, it's going to be very tedious from here on out. Also, I do want to say that it wasn't just uh, Matthew that was being rude to us earlier when his arms were crossed and he's like, I don't want to take that right now. Anytime any character is doing something that's not like standing there or walking, 
they won't accept a gift currently. So, see how, uh, what's his name, Gustafa is playing his guitar? If you attempt to give him a gift right there, he's not going to take it. That's just the reality of things. I'm so sorry. People are mean. Hello, brush, brush, brush. Also, something I failed to mention is that um, snuggle your animals twice a day. Sometimes even talk to them twice a day, but like I've noticed that you can snuggle them twice a day and they will absolutely take the love. Take the love. I missed my chance to get fertilizer. All right, that's probably gonna wrap up today's episode. I've done pretty much everything I wanna do. The next couple of epi episodes, the next episode will be kind of rapid fire of like the days um, while we do our regular farming activity. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye bye.